what must attend free online testing event is just a few weeks away? Why is making testing mistakes so important and what you can learn from them? And have you seen this new open source tool that helps you to gain immediate insights into both your playwright and Cypress automation projects? Find out in this episode of the Test Skill News Show for the week of August 11th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. All right, the top news of the week is that the Test You Conference is back bigger than ever. It's taking place all online from August 21st to the 23rd, and it's going to bring together over 30,000 software testers, developers, architects, and community builders. I have the honor again of kicking things off with the opening note. Besides me, this event will feature more than 35 sessions and workshops with 60-plus speakers discussing key topics such as AI and testing, testing strategies, tools and technologies, code coverage, API testing, frameworks, and more. Also, participants will have the opportunity to network, gain insights, and compete for prizes totaling up to $10,000. And you can register now for free, and it's open to anyone passionate about software quality. So if you're a software tester, I think this is a no-brainer. You should definitely take advantage of this opportunity to stay current on the latest trends and tools in the industry and engaging in events like the Test Shoot Conference can significantly boost your professional networking and knowledge base. So join me and all these other awesome speakers and attendees. Head on over to testskill.me forward slash testmu or click on the link in the comments down below. Hope to see you there. All right, on my LinkedIn scrolling journey, and came across this recent post by Judy Mosley on failure is feedback. And I really like this article and definitely agree. Judy underscores the significance of making mistakes in the learning and development process. And her article argues that areas are not merely setbacks, but essential components of growth, encouraging individuals to embrace failures as a stepping stone to success. So the real world examples and personal anecdotes, this blog highlights how how embracing mistakes can lead to greater creativity, improved problem solving, and heightened resilience. And I think for software testers, the core message of this article is particularly really important. Mistakes in testing can uncover critical flaws in software, ultimately leading to better and more robust applications. And by seeing errors as valuable feedback, testers can foster a culture of continuous improvement within their teams. And along the same lines, I highly recommend you also check out my recent interview with Goiko all about testing beyond bugs and how it can unlock growth with your software from user behavior that outliers or look like failures, but a lot of them are doing the same type of failure. Is it really a failure? And how it can actually lead to significant product growth. Really interesting concept along this lines. And definitely check out both the article and the podcast and the links down below. Also, let's check out the latest release of Playwright. So Playwright has just released version 1.46, and this new release includes several enhancements, bug fixes, and new features aimed at improving the efficiency and performance of your automated testing workflows. Some key additions to this particular release is enhanced browser context support, which improves management and isolation of browser context for more effective multi-session parallel testing. It has some new APIs. For example, it has a new API that increases flexibility in scripting development. It also has some performance boosts, reducing the time taken for test execution and multiple bug fixes as well. So if you're using Playwright, definitely should check out this latest release. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Do you need to test really complex systems? If so, this next article is for you. And in this blog post, Load Mills' Leah Franco discusses the mounting challenges faced by software testers in managing and testing complex software systems or multi-system environments. So as you know, as software systems grow more and more integrated, ensuring seamless functionality and reliability becomes increasingly difficult. So Franco emphasizes the need for comprehensive strategies to handling this complexity, focusing on automation, environment simulation, and robust test case scenarios to maintain system integrity across various platforms. And it dives into how software testers should prioritize the development of a systematic approach to handling the intricate nature of multi-system integrations. And the article also points out to make sure to incorporate continuous testing and integration deployment practices within your testing frameworks to help streamline the testing process and quickly identify integration issues. Do you want to know about an open source project that helps QA teams manage test results across different frameworks? Well, I got a tool just for you and the tool is named QA Shadow Report. What is it? Let's check it out. All right, QA Shadow Report is designed to streamline the reporting process of test results, enabling teams to gain immediate insights into the testing projects. 
And this is really cool because this integration enhances collaboration and efficiency by centralizing test data into Google Sheets or a CSV file, making it easier for teams to coordinate and track project help. And this tool is compatible with both Cypress and Playwright and includes features like daily and monthly reporting generation, setup customization, and CI-CD pipeline integrations with GitHub. And what's great about the tool is obviously it helps simplify the process of generating and sharing test reports, promoting better team collaboration, and hopefully faster decision-making. And by centralizing test results into Google Sheets or CSV, testers can easily analyze and monitor project status, helping to identify issues early and ensure test coverage across different types and categories and across different frameworks. Really cool solution. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts. So, you know, I love learning about new tools. Here's a new one. It's not open source. It's by a vendor. And it's all about how Mook Test has announced the launch of a new AI-driven tool, the Omiko AI Agent. And this agent promises to streamline testing processes, reducing the time to spend on repetitive tasks, and hopefully enhance the overall efficiency of your software development teams. And this article goes over how this AI agent operates by automating routine testing tasks, such as regression tests, exploratory tests, and bug detection. The AI uses machine learning algorithms to improve its testing capabilities over time, ensuring that it becomes more efficient with continual use. And the Amico AI also integrates seamlessly with existing testing tools in software development environments. And it's been a while since I heard from the folks at Apply Tools, but they just let me know that they recently announced a significant update to their system or their software, and it's their intelligent testing platform, which introduced Autonomous 2.0. And this press release goes over how this enhances the speed and reliability of their AI-powered end-to-end testing. And this update aims to empower software development teams by leveraging AI to automate and to streamline testing processes more effectively. And the platform's new capabilities include improved visual testing accuracy, advanced bug detection, and enhanced support for popular frameworks and environments. And they're touting it as a significant improvement and a step forward in the AI-powered end-to-end testing. So if you've done anything with Apply Tools, you know they're top-notch. So definitely another solution you should check out by them. And you can find that once again in the links down below. So another tool that just came to my attention is all about accessibility testing. And this recent announcement by AudioEye recently introduced its accessibility testing SDK which is aimed at simplifying the process for developers to ensure that websites and applications are accessible to users with disabilities. And the SDK integrates seamlessly into existing development processes, providing real-time feedback on accessibility issues. So this really helps developers fix problems on the spot and hopefully foster a culture of inclusivity from the beginning of the development cycle, which is really critical. So one key takeaway from this For me, that I think is important is the integration of accessibility testing into your software development workflow as soon as possible. And using tools like AudioEyes STK can make this task more manageable, allowing testers to identify and resolve accessibility issues early and hopefully reducing the likelihood of these issues actually impacting your end users. All right, this next article is all about performance. It's by Arun, who explores how performance assurance engineering has changed a lot over the years. And it highlights how traditional methods are being replaced by more integrated approaches. And he dives in how this shift is driven by the increased complexity of technology ecosystems and the growing emphasis on user experience. So companies are now focusing on comprehensive performance assurance to deliver seamless and efficient products, adopting a more holistic view that encompasses various aspects of software functionality and user interaction. And I really think testers should understand that this shift towards integrating performance assurance means their role is expanding. You need to be more proficient, not only in detecting bugs, but also assessing the overall performance and user experience of your software. So a lot of key insights in this article. Definitely check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Last up is security news. I found a tool called Attack IQ, which has launched Flex 2.0, which is an upgraded version of its platform designed to fortify enterprise defenses. And they go over how this enhanced version provides significant improvements in automation, integration, and user experience, allowing organizations to better simulate real-world attacks and identify vulnerabilities within their security infrastructure. And I know that was a lot. So for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head on over to the links in the comments down below. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end full-stack pipeline automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.